In my first job, right after university, I heard about the concept they called virtual factory. My imagination went totally through the roof. I had this idea of things coming together virtually, seamlessly, whatever needed to build a service, a product, a concept, just in that specific time and moment when it was needed and then it would regroup again afterwards for whatever would be needed for the project product service coming thereafter. Being straight out of the university, I had a lot of theory I learned in my MBA in my head, but I had zero experience what it actually meant in the real business world. So after some time, disillusionment set in and I learned that the virtual factory actually was just a very nice way to say we do outsourcing, we do sophisticated supply chain management. Hello, my name is Rolf Ritter. I have over 20 years of executive experience. I have been working as general manager, as CEO, as consulting manager for a wide variety of companies and industries from consulting through wholesale to technology. And all those years managing companies from 160 million dollars 700 uh, uh, employees uh, reporting to me, I have wondered, is it really the best way we are organizing our companies or processes today to make them most efficient and most effective in the market space? If you think about all the technology inventions we have seen in the last 10 to 20 years in the information technology area, uh, it's hard to think how could we live without them. We have email, we have internet, we have wiki, we have Facebook, we have Tumblr, we have whatever it is in the social media space, which has completely changed the way we do uh, communication, the way we network, the way we share ideas, thoughts, information. But one thing all those technology changes have in common, they have happened almost exclusively in the private space. If you look into the company space, if you look into the value creation space, there is very little of those technologies which have actually left an impact. We still work today as we have worked uh, almost centuries ago uh, and have not really taken advantage of all those possibilities and changes. The time has come to use everything we have learned, we have built over the last years in social media, in modern technology, and to bring it to the office, to bring it to the companies, to bring it to public education, to bring it to the healthcare system, to bring it into any area of value creation uh, we're living in today. Time has come to put the human being at the center of what we do and not as we have for so long to put hierarchy on top of everyone in order to make it easy for a boss to manage a person, but not necessarily for the single individual to live up to his full potential and to give him the possibility to do whatever he or she can do best and add most value to society. I strongly believe we live in the most incredible times we have seen for, for centuries comparable to the time of the Industrial Revolution 200 years ago, where thanks to new technology, everything changed from business structures, society, political systems. I think we live in a similar time today on the verge of something incredible new. And I have chosen to write this book in order to put all those ideas, concepts together, put them into a historical context to make more people see and understand what it means where we are today and what this could mean for where we go tomorrow.